It's what's up with you, man? Man, shh. trying to go and get this shit going, man. Pop back off this music shit, though. Know? So you got what you got your song with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You let me. <laughs> you like being with your dad? That's what's up, man. That's a blessing, man. Everybody can't be with their dad. Man. I tell them that all the time. Man, people want to be with their dad, man. Hey, man. Um, uh, what what this started out? Where you from, bro? I'm from Memphis, born and raised. Uh huh. Yeah, hey, murder eight. How it was coming up when you was coming up over there? You know what I'm saying? Shit, when I was coming up, it was, it was different from nowadays. Like the hood, like everybody kind of together. Like you can mm-hmm. go anywhere in the neighborhood. Like you ain't like it here now. Nah. You you see you see Auntie Lisa no Barker. Well, we call Auntie Lisa. There ain't no kin of us, but uh-huh. you, know, you respect the older people. So you see them Barker, you might go up there. They already got you a plate ready. You know what I'm saying? It's different now. Like. You know what I'm saying? That it's that's more safe back then. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going down over there, right? Yeah, now, it's over now. I, I can't let him run the neighborhood like I was when I was your age. Mm, you gotta keep him close, yeah, bro. You, you gotta, gotta keep him closer than ever right now. Like Yeah, it's too it's too way too much going on right now. It, it didn't change. Like I be trying to explain that to him, like he be wanting to ride his bike around the neighborhood and I be like, it's different. Even though we don't stay in the hood, it's still different. Like it's different. Like crazy stuff happen, like you got Child molesters, you got predators, you got mm-hmm. young niggas just going around doing shit, you know what I'm saying? So For no fucking reason. For no bro. reason. So I got to keep them under my wing at all the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad you said the murder ain't like, um, Matt Callum was up here. Yeah, yeah, I seen that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was yeah. saying like, um, murder ain't getting blackballed. Do, do you feel like, do you feel like the artist over there getting blackballed, which, which is yourself? I mean, like, I ain't nobody from America that got signed out there. I know of. Uh-huh. So, you know, and it's a lot of, it's a lot of hard artists in the Murder 8. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, when I first got out, uh, the side nigga Jimmy was popping. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So oh, my dog. Shout like out to Jimmy. That. Yeah. You got uh, nigga like C Money from Fed Cat. Mm-hmm. C Jizzle. Mm-hmm. You know, you got a few niggas that, that, that were popping like money, money. I, I still don't know how this nigga ain't got signed yet. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I think, uh, yeah, 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 I think they did, sometimes I think artists, I'm not saying them, yeah. sometimes when artists don't get signed, you gotta sometimes dig a little deeper and see why. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and that's saying? another thing, like I was saying, like, you gotta work hard for that shit, like, that shit ain't easy, like, you got to work hard, like, yeah. the internet shit, like, like, that shit fooled a lot of people, but them labels, they be knowing. <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you just said some real shit, bro. Yeah. A lot of listen. I'm glad he brought it up, y'all. It's a lot of capping going on. <laughs> it's a lot of cap. You ain't fooling nobody but your auntie, your uncle, your cousin. But the labels and a nigga like Wicked, yeah, they know what's going on. You can't fool me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm behind the scenes with the numbers for real. <laughs> I know this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, that was just something. Yeah, you can't fool it, but I think um, the new it's a new wave coming it right is. now. I think I think the little Draco baby, Drake baby, Drake baby, and the Hop Out Shine, the kids they they hard right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and um, yeah, bro, and yourself. See, I be, I be, I. I, I don't, like, you got to be hard for me to just jump on it. Like, so you're a rapper rapper. Yeah. So you're rapper, not a rap like, rapper. Yeah, I listen to me. Like, you yeah. got to, I don't, like, that mumble rap. Like, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't listen to that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I bump nigga like, like, Gotti, Jeezy. I still bump them nigga like, more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. uh, Don Trip, the style leader. I bump shit like that. So you, you want to hear some shit. Yeah, you want to hear some shit. Like, I bump money big and, uh... And rapper like that, but and myself, but you just gotta be like the red Deshaun. I'm slick man that he then slick stop like they might like did a complete stop. Yeah, like, I know it. Like I damn. still bump all that niggas. You get in my car, like you gonna hear that nigga whole mixtape for like at least it's the ride two hours. You're gonna hear that bitch for an hour. And a half. Like man, that nigga did just yeah, just stop. Out the blue, like but I'm that like, be damn. happening with them labels. Them labels be. Like a lot of niggas say, say you put a hit single out, yeah, and you got like a hundred million views on mm-hmm. it, but a nigga don't even got a million dollars. Yeah, I know that. Like, you be have to handle them business. That's what I be saying. Like you can do for all that flaking for faking for the end there, but like 
Like, them labels and shit, like, people know for real, like, you really doing something. Like, but niggas like that, Rod Way, I bump niggas like that and shit like that, but, like, new rapper, like, everybody rap about the same shit. So, yeah, rappers, they, it's, it's a lot of, like, so basically, you, 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 you you motherfucker gotta be talking about something. You got to be like Or teaching you some shit. Yeah, you gotta be yeah. like, yeah, you gotta yeah, like little baby killing this shit right now. Like that nigga, you can vibe to all that nigga shit. I don't care who you is. Like, Young you can, and old, like Yeah, him. you can vibe to mine. I, I be I be hearing old head pull up bumping in mine and shit. I be like, damn, that nigga that, but he really be talking about shit though. Money bag got it too though. Yeah, yeah, money bag, yeah. That one of my top ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what what you think like you think music Memphis got the best music right now? I ain't gonna say the best, but Memphis hot as fuck right now. I ain't gonna even lie. <laughs> Memphis hot as fuck. You got yeah. a lot of artists like you got a lot of hard niggas like Big Boogie like niggas in the city like I ain't bumping that nigga shit like they supposed to. That nigga hard. That mind the truth. Bro. Yeah, that nigga hard. Miami but a lot true. of niggas do bump it, but it's behind closed doors. <laughs> yep, they like, yeah. It's, it's this internet shit, bro. So yep. they feel like yep. they ain't gonna just be. You ain't gonna see no nigga riding down the street just boom his shit loud as hell like you would money bag or little baby and them shit. But behind closed doors, nigga bumping that nigga shit. So this thing with him, like they made boogie work for this shit. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. But I've been my no lie, I've been watching dude when I was locked up my last year, two thousand eighteen. Man, I was watching that nigga. I had called one of my little homeboy. He used to fuck with him tough. I was like, man, young nigga finna blow. You need to stay with him. He was like, yeah, yeah, but they gonna get tired of his voice. I said, no, nah, bro, that young nigga gonna blow, fool. I'm behind, I'm behind those, you know what I'm saying? It's other niggas. I'm putting other niggas on this nigga. And I was telling him, like, my nigga gonna blow. And it took a little time, but man, that nigga did what he did. You know what I'm saying? He did, bro. He, he worked did. for this shit. He worked for everything he got. Right now, and uh, is that considered? Is he considered the bay? I mean, uh, not the bay. I'm sorry, I pre apologize. Is that considered the murder of him? No, I think Boogie. I think Boogie from the bay. Okay, but I was locked up though, so I, I don't really know. You know, I got out to the end 2018, so it was a lot of shit. I got locked up at the beginning of 2012, so I don't know. You know how folks feel, but I think he from the bay. I think I heard his song like he from the bay and shit. I'm glad you brought it up. You said you was locked up or whatever, yeah. so. Um, tell us a little bit about like take us back to the day you got locked up. Yeah. And to the day you got out. The day I got locked up, I think it was Mar Mar twenty twelve. And the motherfucker tax for Marsha's head before came and got a nigga deep as hell. Yeah. And she when once they did that, I went to an investigation and investigated a nigga. Uh after that shit, they took me to their cell. She, I knew I was gone. She, I, I knew I was gone, but you didn't know how long you was gonna be gone. That was the thing. Like I ain't know because it was so much shit. Like I had charges pending. Then I caught a new charge. Then I had some more shit that kept popping up. So it was like I was like, shit. By the time I get out, I'd be like, my father. So I, I told little females I fuck with it. I was like, shit, I'm thugging y'all. Like what do y'all do? But I know I'm finna be gone. I ain't got no petty charge, no burglaries or robbery. Like, this shit I did, I know it's over with. So, you don't mind us, because the charge is over with, right? Yeah, the charge is over with. What, what was the charge? I had attempted murder charge. I got in two with a dude, popped up at the school. Young nigga, just like these young nigga now, it popped up, man. It wasn't no talking and shit. And handling your beat? Yeah, shot him seven times. And I was on the run for that. And I was already out on two bonds for uh, other gun charges. Some more records and dime charges, some more shit. Mm -hmm. So when I got the homicide or whatever, they get to trying to bring up other shit and woo woo. -woo. I, man, look, I don't know nothing about nothing. <laughs> man, I'm on this charge right here. Yeah, they want you to tell yeah, you this other they, shit. Yeah, so take me to my cell. They they got to bring up my little nigga Chopper Sugar, all pre Chopper Sugar, that little bro. They got mm -hmm. to bring up his name and shit. And I was like, shit, I don't know nothing, nothing, nothing. Just take me to my cell. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So after that, I said at 201 for 30 months, two and a half years. I said down there until I went to trial. Cause they were trying to make me sign for a 17. But I was like, no, nah, I can't. I can't see myself doing this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm gonna be gone long, but I every time looking in the mirror, it's it like I couldn't see myself doing it in my town. Like, no, nah, they gonna have so I asked my lawyer, like, if I go to trial and lose, what I'm facing. My lawyer was like, you gonna have to do an extra seven years, you lose. You're gonna have to do, I think he said 20, 24 years. 
I said, shit, let's suit up then, shit. Seven more years, ain't nothing. I tried. Shit. Yeah, let's 17 try to 24, the same. I thought you were going to say a whole dub. Yeah, so I'm like, shit, let's suit up. So, shit, we went to trial. And shit, thank God, nigga, came out on top with an eight. I did six and a half on that. And shit. All right, take it like, so <clears throat> you was facing 24 years, basically. Mm -hmm. So um, when you won the trial, because all this shit a feeling. Yeah. When yeah. you won and they gave you eight. To everybody in the courtroom, they like, damn, you got eight. But to yeah, you, the prosecutor was mad. They was you the was like, thank God. Yeah, I was happy. The bailiff was like, what you happy about? I said, you just don't know. I almost got yeah, I was, yeah, like this a blessing to me. I, I did two and a half, so I know I gotta go do four, I got five four more, more years. Yeah, so I'm like, man, I'm straight. Exactly. Yeah. Then I knew I was straight anyway. Like why anyway I go, I knew I was straight anyway. Just mm -hmm. Being who God I was, you yeah. You know so I, I knew I was straight in a way. No, real niggas can go anywhere. By anywhere. the way, anywhere. That's why I be you know saying, saying like anywhere, like and those people don't understand. Like it's gonna be how it is, bro. Exactly. You know so saying? when I went to the pen, it was different from two hundred one though. Like it was way Not different. Sure. Like, <laughs> I felt like I, was, I felt like I wasn't even locked up sometimes. Like yeah. Cause when I first went in there, my homeboys had, I had went in there, in my home. I seen one of my homeboys, and he was like, uh. Oh yeah, come on, cuz. And he told her, he was like, come on, we finna go holler at the office. I'm finna get you on the cell with other cuz now. I'm like, what? So we got in them over. Yeah, cause 201 ain't like that, like. Yeah. And then other cuz them got cuz them out kitchen, they got weed blunts in their hand, they smoking in the pot. I'm like, what like, the fuck? You catching on fast, yeah, like, what's like, going on? So he hollered at the office and was like, man, my home, boy, I need to get him moved in such and such cell. And she was like, okay, okay, just give me a just give me a little time. It's gonna be by the end of this day. And woo, he was like, man, for real, I need you to do this, my homeboy. And she, he did that shit. He put me in the cell one of my homeboy. And she, one of them niggas brought me a phone. Like, need to use a phone call. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I ain't used to this shit. It's it. way different. 201, so I think it bring me an iPhone. Like, you need to use it, John. So I'm like, man, hell, dog. Nah. Like, so I damn. called my folks. They like, how you call me on a regular phone? I said, man, it's crazy in here. I said, I think I'm gonna do my, my time finna go by fed though. Yeah. So she I said, yeah, I was in there thugging. Damn. I got into some trouble, went on Max. Went on Max for two and a half years. And this oh, shit. Oh, you on boy, Max two and a half years. Yeah, year. this shit humble the nigga. I ain't gonna lie that Max humble my ass. That's twenty three and one lockdown. I know that. So this shit humbled me. So <laughs> for two years. For two years straight. Then my uh my dad had passed away and shit. And I couldn't go to the uh I couldn't go to his friend because they said I was a uh, high risk. So that shit, that shit really just humbled a nigga. Yeah. So after that, I, my last year, my last year and a half, they said I got off max and went back to the prison I crashed out at. And after that, man, I started working out and getting some money. I seen them niggas get money. I was like, shit, I gotta get me some money too. I've been in motherfucker. Yeah, it's gonna kill the time. Shit. Yeah, you know it's gonna keep my. It, it killed the time. Yeah. Yup. So I ended up doing that and uh. Man, that time went by so goddamn fast. I was like, man, I wish I would never crash out, but I had I had to go through that. You know what I'm saying? To that, get to where that place. Yeah, you I had game, to. Yeah. I felt if they would have let me out there two or one, like I know I would have been a same young nigga. I, I wouldn't nothing. Shit wanted to change. I would have got back out in the streets on some hot shit. There you go, and so, been probably right back in there, man. Yeah, I would have been right back. So it, it's a it's a good thing that I went to the penitentiary and seen this shit. Like seen nigga with life sentence and ring niggas time. She's like. Y'all niggas 18 times, she say they don't get out of 2072 and shit. So I'm like, that's insane. Yeah, bro. so I'm like, hell no, I, I got to do something. I got him out here. He was three months and I got locked Come up. On, so man. I'm like, no, nah, I can't do this shit no more. Yeah, hell, that shit painful, bro. Yeah, that shit hurt. Like, that's for real, painful. for real. So let me ask you this, you know what I'm saying? You said um, Chopper Shug. Yeah, Chopper Shug. You was cool with him? Yeah, yeah, like my little brother, fool. I'm talking about. Yeah. He texted me Happy Father's Day, June. It was in June, and I posted got out in August. He texted me Happy Father's Day, and they hit me with my phone. I got caught with my phone like a week later, and then when I tried to reach back out, I called town. They gave me the news, and that shit tore a nigga up. Like, <clears throat> you know, like him, like he was like they treated him like a god. Like a, yeah, know. like a god. Like, like why, why did, why did they do? You know what I'm saying? Why it, it, he had that respect like that? You know what I'm saying? Man, Chopper Shoot, I, I started fucking with Chopper Shoot when he was like 16, 15 or 16. Like, like Riley, like the murder, we were beefing. Like, niggas don't be talking about that shit, but we were beefing with the other side. You know what I'm saying? So, 
I don't, it's like them other niggas weren't trying to push. Like, Suge was the only young, nah, he wasn't the only young nigga. R.P. Tony Baloney, too. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, Matt Corey, Max Madden. I fuck with Max Madden, too. And it, it was a couple more hitters, but Suge, like, Suge was on that front line. He was a young nigga, fool. I'm talking Where about. Where to go? Yeah, I, I used not even want to go pick him up, because, like, I look at the young nigga as a little bro. He had so much hard, though. I'm like, damn, this little nigga got hard. Mm-hmm. So when I got locked up, like, that nigga name just exploded. Yeah, yeah. But I seen it in him the whole time. Like, mm-hmm. that little nigga got hard, like, for real, for real. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and he was just him, himself. You know, he wasn't doing this shit like everybody else. Like, they want to do that shit to be popular or to, for everybody can be scared of them. Like, he want, he want, it want, they want his cause of that shit. Yeah. He would just defend the hood just like I was defending the hood. Exactly. And yeah. she, yeah. and he, he was a real young nigga. When I got locked up, that nigga would give me visits and shit from different little females and shit. <laughs> I like this little nigga here popping for real. Like, for real. I like, damn. Yeah. He bring, nah, that one, he was locked up too, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he'll give me a visit just so we can meet up and visit. Oh, damn. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, what I said, man. Like, uh, he was, little y'all bro. was locked yeah, in. We, yeah, man, that little bro, like, mm-hmm. man, that nigga, like, man, it's crazy, bro. Like, that's the only close, like, friend I had that, that ever paid, like, for real. Like, yeah. that was a little bro for real. That shit was kind of unbelievable. Yeah, it was crazy, like. Yeah, that shit crazy. Nigga do all that. It be crazy how nigga you can. Like, I tell people all the time, and shout out to them, too, like, Nick can do a whole bunch of stuff in the streets Man, and then bunch. go and leave like that. But like I tell everybody, like the energy you put out in the universe, like you get that shit back, that shit come back to you. So I ain't finna lie and say my little nigga was no angel. Just mm-hmm. like some shit happened to me. Like I tell my mom and I'm like, if something would happen to me back in the day or now, like a nigga that did some fucked up shit. Yeah, you know I what I'm saying? You, so yeah. for real. You know, that shit come back, but it's a it, I, I read for him to go their way then a nigga catching him in the streets. There you, you know? go. You know so he died doing something he liked to do. On the four wheeler. Yeah, on the four wheeler. Mm-hmm. So I hate that my little nigga gone, but like a nigga ain't no angel out here. Like mm-hmm. I tell my mom and all the time, like if someone helped me back in the day, like, yeah, you know I ain't no angel. Mm-hmm. So she a nigga gotta go with the flow. Yeah. Walk us to um like um the day you coming out of the prison. Like, this shit felt so good. Like, it felt unreal for a minute. Like, ain't, ain't kick, that shit ain't kick in to like, man, like a week or so. I'm like, <laughs> you find, you look up, you're like, nigga, free. Like, I can get up and go yeah, wherever the fuck I do with that one. crazy. Man. Like, and, and the spirit, like, leaving that motherfucker. Like, a nigga don't be always, like, you happy, but you leaving behind some nigga that yep. some good niggas you done met, bro. Like, and they ain't never getting out where they got so much time, like, and that shit, it's a, you, it's a, it's a, it's a, like a soft spot you got, like, damn. It's bitter, bittersweet. Yeah, type like when I got walked out, like, man, was so many, man, I'm talking, we did so many crips, like when I first walked out and shit, like, and just getting over them and shit, man, you see that nigga eye, like, damn, bro, a nigga made a brother in that motherfucker, like, yeah, yeah, and I still, yeah. but I still keep in touch with, I still sent my sent so many nigga money to this day, man. Mm-hmm. I still send nigga money to this day, and I've been out. I've been out four years now, and I st- I've been taking care of a lot of niggas that I met in that motherfucker to this day. Cause a lot of niggas ain't got family or none in that motherfucker. I'm talking about nothing, bro. A lot of niggas been locked up. I got a couple niggas been locked up over twenty years. Niggas, mamas and dads and aunties and pays away. So a lot of niggas like I feel like like family to a nigga now. So yeah, I feel like it's my duty to fuck with a nigga. And I, yeah. I fuck with real niggas anyway, like a yeah. genuine person. Like I fuck with genuine people anyway, cause this Same shit hard here. to come across, bro. Nah, no, for like, sure. So, but the experience, that shit, that shit, that shit was great. Like, like I had to really like think, like, damn, a nigga, free my money. Be like, you gotta snap out of that jail shit. It's hard. Like, it ain't. Yeah, like I'm like, man, I just did six and a half years, like, like for real. But like, it took a minute, but that freedom, like that shit, everything, bro. <laughs> Like my first day out, I had they went and picked him up for me and shit. He was so happy. I'm talking about. He was so happy, man. I'm talking about like, <laughs> like a dog finally getting loose out of bed, chained up for a year. So after that, like the experience just being around him, like he was three months when I got locked up. So I felt I owe him that. Like I ain't had no choice but to chain. 
You feel me? Yeah, I owe him that. So I had to change. Like, and then my mom and them been through so much shit with a nigga. I'm like, my mama old now. I can't keep putting that pressure on her like this. Yeah. I got to change. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then seeing, like, like being a good nigga, like, man, this shit, you, you get rewarded for that shit. Nah, for sure, yeah. Like, just yeah. being a good person, you going to get rewarded hey, for that shit. That's some real shit, bro. That, yeah, that's that's been my whole setup, bro. Being yeah. a good dude. Just being a good dude, and nigga ain't even looking hard. for nothing in return. It's nah, just who you man. Real, like. Yeah, yeah. And that shit, man. That shit, you you gonna get rewarded every time. Like God yeah. gonna reward you every time, bro. The energy mm-hmm. you put out in the universe, the energy you get back, you gonna get it back. And bro. People don't believe that shit, man. You just look at life, and you can tell, like, people think because folk got money, like, and they and they got fucked up ways that they, you don't know what's going on in folk life. You don't know if they blessed it. You don't know if they waking up blessed every day because they got money. Especially if you're going off social media. Yes, yeah, and that's what that's, that's what everybody <laughs> go off now. Social yeah, media. Yeah. Especially. Social media can make you look like the most happiest, richest motherfucker in the world. We all everybody sharing their highlights. Yeah. Them just their highlights. That's, you that's don't know what the fuck they, they, they what they did in the game today. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this. Um, <clears throat> so. When you got out, you out, ooh, you out, mm-hmm. see your son, getting your mojo back. So you like, fuck it, I'm gonna fuck with this rap shit. I mean, that was my goal in anyway, a way, like to fuck with that rap shit. Like when I was locked up, man, I got like at least four hundred songs on paper, Damn. like at least four hundred some songs, and that's what I got now. Cause a lot of shit got lost. You can't keep up with all your shit in there. <laughs> like you get shut down. I also do low down shit. You get moved. Like so, I lost a lot of shit, but I got at least four hundred songs. So when I got out. The goal was to jump on that rap shit, like, and I, I did that, like, through my video went viral with Draco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I was shooting a video mm-hmm. with Draco and shit, through my jump went viral. My cousin was paying for my shit, actually. Mm-hmm. He was paying for my video, my little outfit, like, I ain't had shit. Mm-hmm. The money I made in prison, this shit went back to him, or okay. take, or fuck with my sister them or some shit like that, and I left I left my nigga them with a lot of shit, because I'm free now, mm-hmm. but, yeah, that shit was popping off for a minute, like, like I tell everybody, like, this shit take... Like, you got to have patience, time, money. You got to have all this shit. Strategy. Yeah, and I wasn't fully prepared. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was going this way, that way, that way. I'm just listening to everybody. Like, so I had to get that shit a break for a minute. Like, what I'm doing wrong. Like, my shit getting views. Now, what I'm doing wrong. Then it started slowing down. I stopped getting views. So, it's the mind thing. Like, that's why I said nigga got to work hard, bro. Yeah. Like hard. Like niggas that be rapping and shit, like niggas be like, man, I'm full blue out the blue. Like yeah, that shit nah, every it that shit like one it. in a blue moon yeah, type yeah, shit. Like, and who wanna who wanna yeah. bet on that? Yeah, exactly. That's a that's, that's a gamble. Right. Like you never know. But like I was looking at the red the sun, uh, some shit on him. That might be rapping for a long ass time. Listen, bro. He used to be the goon that used to ride around with Birdman. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. Them and he wouldn't people didn't even know yep, he rapped. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Show ain't lying. And the producer, I forgot the name of the producer, but he used to be with them all the time. Nobody yeah. even knew the real Deshaun even did music. It's crazy. And it might hard as fuck. And he came out <laughs> and it's crazy. Yeah. He's been doing shit for a long time. Long time. So bro. I tell people like this shit, like I ain't never give up or stop. I just had to get myself together first. Like you gotta get your life together. A lot of people like feel like like this music shit, like a lot of niggas feel like they too popular to get a job because they they a rapper. Like, you can't have that mentality, bro. Like, you can't if you want to make it and doing anything, bro. You can't worry about what folks gonna think or what they gonna say. Like, they ain't paying no bill. Exactly. Come on, now. they ain't you, taking care of him. Yeah, exactly. They you gotta pay for your own videos, your own studio time. Like, and I'm the type of nigga I don't want no handout. Me neither. Like bro. my cousin paying for my shit. Like, I, I love I got niggas like that around me, but like. Man, this shit make me feel some type of way, bro. I feel disgusted with myself. Like, I supposed to be able to do this shit. So, shit, I went and got me a job and went back to school. Talk I was like, fuck me. it. Tell me, bet probably the best decision yeah. you could have made. Hell yeah, cause I couldn't. Like, my girl, cause I, I, we were living together. She got her first part when I got out. And she's like, you straight, you just got out. Just let me do it. I'm like, I ain't that type of nigga. Like, mm-hmm. this shit hurt me every day I wake up and I ain't doing nothing. I'm sitting at the house like, that shit hurt me, so I got to do something. I don't see how people do that, man. Bro. I, don't, I don't understand. Like I be all this like, motion out here, bro. It's too much motion, and I couldn't even get a job. My record was bad as yeah. hell, so I had to jump back in school. Uh-huh. And I jumped back in school. I, I did that shit to learn the trade. So I feel if I learn the trade right now, two three years later, something big might come out of this shit, 
And on top of that, they paying me to go to school. So I'm like, fuck it. And then <laughs> when I finally man. got a job, man, I was in that bitch from, man, sun up to sun down. I'm talking about. Ain't nothing else to do. Hell no, it ain't nothing else to do. And they weren't paying them $10 out. I was trying my best to get them 10 You hear me? My every check, I'm trying to make that motherfucker be work so. Yeah, bro. And that train, I want to salute you, bro, on that transition. Everybody can't do yeah, it. Yeah, everybody can't. It's a, do it's, it. it's a mental thing. You got, you over, got, you got over the hump, bro. Like, yeah, you got to. That's like, a blessing. That's why a lot of niggas out here stealing car, breaking this shit, because they, they don't want to take that. They don't want They don't want to take the slow road. They want to jump in that fed line. They yeah. don't want to. They looking everybody at everybody trying else. Everybody trying to hit like, a lick. Yeah, everybody, everybody. trying to hit a lick, but after you hit that lick, what? You looking for another You got to know how to keep that. Why I tell everybody, <laughs> man, you can win a lot of for a million dollars a day, you're bro. You still going to be broke. You're going to be broke because you got to know how to keep this shit. Yep. It's easy to get some money, but keeping that shit the hardest thing. No Especially cap. when you a social media type person. If that's all you do is be on social media and you see this nigga go cop a Benz truck, you going to want to go do the same shit. Or you see this nigga young as hell with a hair kit, you don't know how he got that. It could be a stolen, a stolen car, anything. But in your head, you like, man, I gotta go and turn up. Yep. I gotta do like yep. I ain't man, fuck that. Like I was driving a Malibu, a two thousand seven Malibu for a long ass time. And See, now a nigga look at my driveway and be like, man, come damn, on, bro. bro. You stay pulling up on me and this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I put him on you in a jig. You like, ah, yeah, I got you. We caught the uh vet. You said uh-huh. shit. You pulled up in that jig. I had to go do something. <laughs> yeah, I you saying that and I like to see. Black brothers, and you know me. You've been talking for a while, yeah, but for, for while, you to man. come and tell me your story right now, bro, it's a, it's amazing. I fuck yeah. with it, and I knew it was a way. I, I fuck, I, I just fuck with you. Yeah, I, I don't like really energy. let nobody pull up energy, on man. me. Yeah. I always say, all right, come on, bro. Yeah, this shit based <laughs> off in like yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga feel that shit, like yeah, bro. Tell them what you got coming out, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, I just dropped my single Ice too. That's on our platform, Ice. Make mm-hmm. sure y'all go check that out. I got a mixtape in the drop called wake them up it's coming real soon i got two videos finna drop back to back they will be on wicked film shit you so dig what i'm saying you can't miss it hey that. so just stay tuned in man with your boy it's topic just stay tuned in man i-t-z-t-o-p-i-c-c you ain't nobody else named it so you can't miss it hey make sure y'all get with this man like good dude y'all see what's going on yeah i'm on the couch with his son niggas bringing most time it be money right here. Yeah, or you know a hundred like, niggas. A hundred like niggas. Like, now, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's Toppy, man. He represent for that Murder 8. Y'all make sure y'all lock in with him. He just got boxed in with Wicked Film, man. Yes, sir. Get up out of here.